And now joining us for the breakdown segment, uh, Saints legend, former linebacker, uh, Saints Hall of Famer, hopefully future pro football Hall of Famer, uh, Pat Swilling. <laughs> I see him shaking his head. Don't shake your head at that, Pat. Don't shake your head at that. But we'll dive right into it, Pat, because uh, a Monday night game for the Saints uh, against the Baltimore Ravens. And the Ravens have you know, one of the most electrifying, dynamic players in the league at quarterback in Lamar Jackson. Uh, you played linebacker in this league and you played it well. What do you do against a mobile quarterback, a guy like Lamar Jackson, who can tuck it and not just run it, but he might run it 50, 60 yards? You know, um, a guy like that, you ha you have to make sure you stay in your lanes. And, you know, most time me and Ricky were able to go inside, outside. Uh, you know, Vic uh, Fangio's kind of gave us a little leeway left to right. But this is a guy you can't afford to get upfield too much. You really have to rush uh, under control. Uh, inside backers, especially on long distance, um, they got to put a spy on this guy. You know, I don't know how you go into a game and not put a spy on Lamar because Lamar is that good. He's just one of those guys. He's a game changer. He's the guy that makes so many plays for that football team. But also those outside rushers, Cam Jordan, those guys have to stay in their lanes and, and, and keep him kind of bottled up. You know, Pat, Saints are coming off their best defensive game of this season, a shutout, uh, win 24 to nothing against the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I know every game is a separate entity, but what do they carry from that game to this one? I guess in terms of just confidence, maybe. Uh, if I hadn't been there, I wouldn't have believed. I mean, they played so well. You know, all phases of the game came together, but it always starts with the front seven. Our front seven played well. Um, they did a great job uh, on the outside with the 27 of the cornerbacks trying to defend. Uh, Devontae Adams, one of the best uh, receivers in the league. But, uh, you know, you also have to move on. Uh, take from that ball game what you've done well and move on to the next ball game and get ready. You know, Pat, these last four games, so this last month, we've seen the Alvin Kamara that we're accustomed to seeing. Uh, what does that mean when I say that? Because he, he seems to be, you know, a guy who is not only just handling a, a, a heavier load, but he's handling it very well. You know, I, I think he's come, becoming a superstar. You know, he's one of those guys who uh, kind of put his um, uh, his play on the field. And, you know, last week he, he took a leadership role after last week's game when they lost um, and, and and got out front and said, hey, man, we got to play well. And, and the best thing for that is when you got a player like he is, like he is, he has to play well. And uh, he was the catalyst this, this week that, that kind of led those guys. All right. Well, that's Pat Swilling. Thank you for joining us here in the breakdown. Hopefully the Saints can defend uh, the Dome the way the Dome Patrol uh, defended the Dome tonight against the Ravens. Uh, man, it'll be something to see in that, in, in that Dome, and, and it's going to be loud, and it's going to be electric, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing it. Thanks for joining us, Pat. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.